Stevie Lane 5 1, turn right heading 180. 1 4 Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established. I'd like just to take the moment now to apologise for yesterday's video. The audio balance was incorrectly done and likely made your viewing and listening experience not as pleasurable. I've managed to rectify the issue that on my end seemed to be perfectly fine and hopefully that will not be present in today's video. However, today the coverage is going to sit with something that was uploaded on the channel last week but struggled to hit subscription boxes with some new content also added in. The new content will be first, so feel free to stick around now. Focus will be on the Boeing 777X with Emirates. As well, it seems with every new announcement that we receive, it isn't long before something more is announced to us, painting the aircraft in a negative light. It seems like the aircraft just cannot win, if that makes sense. Deliveries are now looking likely to take place in 2024, specifically for the Emirates ones. This is an obvious concern for Boeing and the 777X program, with the Dubai-based carrier being their biggest customer for the type and were originally slated to welcome the aircraft back in 2020. However, this never eventuated due to problems out of Boeing's control in some instances. Speaking in an interview with Reuters, which will be linked below, Tim Clark said that they had no idea when the aircraft would be completed, certified properly, and then actually offered to them for delivery and eventual entry into service. Something for us also to consider that I have not mentioned in many of these videos is that certain regulators are also going to be conducting their own independent review, if you will, or thoroughly review the Boeing 777X on top of what the FAA is doing before eventually certifying it to fly in their own respective union or area or country. This is simply because of the things that slipped through the 737 MAX certification process originally and how many people believe that Boeing essentially certified their own aircraft with the FAA simply sitting off to the side. While a lot of people believe this, this can also be backed up substantially with many facts and a lot of evidence. If you watch this video that failed to hit subscription boxes though now, feel free to click off, but if not, today I revisit ambitious plans made by Emirates following the ungrounding and eventual return to service for their aircraft. The Dubai-based airline is currently expecting and planning to return all its A380s and 777s currently within its operations that have been grounded back to service by the end of the year, as the vaccine is rolled out worldwide. The news thanks to Reuters doesn't come really as a shock. The Emirates leadership personnel have easily been the biggest advocates for returning their stricken fleet to service within the aviation industry. The vast majority of other airlines have attempted instead to prevent the immediate return of aircraft in favour of adjusting their business model to better come out of the global pandemic at all. In the very interview with Reuters, Tim Clark spoke on the return to service of their aircraft saying, We're in a good place with the fleet that we have albeit not as highly utilised as it was prior to the pandemic. To start operating again as soon as the doors open with regards to accessibility to the markets. The carrier has hundreds of aircraft that would need to return to service, including over 100 of the Airbus A380s that would fully need to return. Putting all these back in service and within their operations will likely see some flying with very little capacity as while normal life could return to somewhat normality, there will still likely be a decrease in people travelling in comparison to that of 2018 and or 2019 levels, which is something that airline executives and analysts have predicted and have been planning for for some time. The analysts specifically don't believe the 2018-2019 levels that I just made mention of will return until at least 2023 or even 2024. This is a concerning prospect for carriers that cannot receive a government aid or were already struggling with full capacity levels back in 2019, like that of Norwegian who I covered on the channel a few days ago. Emirates will also be posting a full year loss and has already made mention of how the global pandemic has adversely impacted their business. However, thanks to US $2 billion from the Dubai government that was injected into them during this pandemic, they are, you could argue, better off than if they didn't have the cash injection. Either way, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts and opinions on Emirates' ambitious goal to see their aircraft all return to the skies by year's end. Do you think that this is realistic or not? And if you have any thoughts on the Boeing 777X, which continues to see news really in a negative light, do not hesitate to also drop that in the comments below. Thanks very much for the support and patience as I really get this new microphone set up and understand how it works a lot better. I hope you enjoyed watching and of course listening to me. Stay tuned for more videos here on the channel. 
be safe, take care, and I will see you all next time.